So in today's lesson we speak about the lymph system. The lymph system, as you most probably know, is the cleansing system of our body and it's the basis of our good functioning health. It's the basis for the immune system and in order to be healthy you definitely need to have a functioning lymphatic system. So when you're on a rebounder what happens is that the rhythmic bouncing stimulates the fluid, the circulation of the fluid through the body. And we have a lot of lymph fluid. The lymph is in our entire body because it has to cleanse everything. So there are little lymph channels and here I show you the picture of how that looks like. And it is very, very important that this lymphatic fluid is moving through the body. We have about twice as much as we have blood. So for the blood we have a pump, that is the heart. But for the lymphatic fluid there is nothing. In fact our calves are the pump of the lymphatic fluid. The calves are pumping the fluid and making sure that it circulates in the body. So scientific research, when they explored of how the body is built and for which function specifically the body is built, they came to the conclusion that the body is built for jogging. And in fact that was not for quick running and also not for walking, but for a slow jogging. The reason why was for the body to survive. You know our body is pretty much the same like when we were gatherers and hunters. Uh, we still have the same body. It has changed very very little in fact. Our habits have changed, but not the body so much. So our, our ancestors, they had to move about 20 miles per day in order to get the food together. It was a survival thing that the body could jog, you know. And so the body still assumes that we are having this kind of movement. And for that reason, there are certain functions which are just not there when we are not moving. And specifically, we need a vertical movement in order to have this pumping function of the calf muscles. Now, what happens if we are not moving or if we are not moving vertically? The body clocks up. Uh, you can imagine it's like um, you put the garbage in the streets, you put it in the streets for a day, another day, a week, and the garbage men are on strike. Exactly that is what's happening in our body when we don't have the lymphatic fluid moving through the body and taking the garbage away and cleansing the body. So that is not a good idea and it's definitely um, a disaster for our health because the whole, the whole basis of our functioning health is, is built on a functioning cleansing of the body. So it is the rhythmic moving on the rebounder which helps to pump that lymphatic fluid through the body and in order to have the calves really pumping thoroughly we need a soft bounce. It's like when you are jogging, you know, you're not jogging tok 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 like that, you know, you're jogging and so forth. So that's the same thing with the rebounder you need to have a slow movement, a slow bouncing, you know, like dong, dong, like you have on a bellicon rebounder, on a bungee rebounder. And that is what gives the calves the enough time to really contract, contract thoroughly. If you have a quick bounce return, like dong, 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 which you have on spring-based rebounders, the calves can only contract superficially and it does not help enough to pump the lymphatic fluid through the body. So you well set with your bungee rebounder, have fun.